Hello and welcome to Wheel Spin Gaming, a new channel dedicated to driving and racing games. My name is Martin and I grew up playing destructive racing games like Destruction Derby and Flat Out. There's just something sadistically satisfying about watching cars crash into each other and be reduced to mangled heaps of metal. So what better game to start with than Wreckfest? Developed by Bugbear Entertainment, the studio behind the first two flat out games and the underrated Ridge Racer Unbounded, Wreckfest marks a return to destructive, demolition derby style racing games that were popular back in the 90s and early 2000s. I remember when it was originally released on Steam Early Access way back in December 2013, back when it was originally known as Next Car Game. The final game was eventually released on PC last summer, and was supposed to release on PS4 and Xbox One last November, but was sadly delayed at the last minute. Nine months later, Wreckfest has finally crashed onto consoles, but was it worth the agonisingly long wait? With its advanced physics and realistic damage modelling, I was worried the console version of Wreckfest would be compromised, especially as no official gameplay footage has been released in the run-up to the game's release until just recently. However, I'm pleased to say this is not the case. As you can see from this gameplay footage, captured from Xbox One X, the console version looks surprisingly similar to the PC version. Even with up to 24 cars battling it out, the game runs at a locked 30 frames per second with no slowdown at all, which is very impressive considering the amount of carnage going on. Bugbear has done an outstanding job optimising the game, so the extra development time has clearly paid off. I can't comment on other versions, but it will be interesting to see how the game runs on the less powerful standard consoles. Visually, the cars are very well modelled with highly detailed textures and the lighting looks excellent. The only technical issue I've encountered is the long loading time, but I'm told this will be addressed in a day one patch. At the time of this recording though, this hasn't been released yet. I can honestly say Wreckfest is the most fun I've had in a racing game in a long time. Every race is a chaotic fight to the finish line, with carnage unfolding at every corner. In contrast to serious racing games that focus on lap times and racing lines, Wreckfest rewards you for ramming into opponents. Executing a well-timed tap at the rear that causes another racer to slam into the nearest wall never gets old. If you have a strong appetite for destruction, the Demolition Derby Arena events are the clear highlights. Here the objective is to cause as much damage to your opponents as possible while trying to survive for as long as possible. To say that these events are chaotic is an understatement. This is metal crunching mayhem at its finest. Car damage in most racing games released this generation has left a lot to be desired, but Wreckfest takes it to the next level. To put it simply, Wreckfest has the most advanced damage modelling in a console racing game since Burnout Paradise was released 10 years ago. Thanks to Bugbear's revolutionary soft body damage modelling, you can literally wreck your car beyond recognition. There's also a superb sense of weight to the cars that, that makes every impact feel brutal. This sense of weight also makes the cars responsive and satisfying to drive. Wreckfest isn't a hardcore simulation game, but it's not an all-out arcade racer either, and strikes a good balance somewhere in between. I will say though, if you've played high-speed arcade racers like Burnout Paradise Remastered or Dangerous Driving recently, the cars in Wreckfest may seem slow by comparison. But that's missing the point. 
This is a demolition derby game, so you'll be driving knackered old saloons, estate cars and hatchbacks fit for the scrapyard rather than shiny supercars. Wreckfest also features a comprehensive career mode, car customization and tuning, and online multiplayer, but I still need to explore these aspects more thoroughly before I can make an overall opinion. I think it's also worth noting that Wreckfest is not a full priced game. The standard version retails for £34.99, but some websites are already selling it for as cheap as £25. Presumably this is because Wreckfest has already been out for over a year on PC, but it still offers exceptional value. So those are my initial thoughts on the console version of Wreckfest, but from what I've played so far, it's a smashing good time and a worthy spiritual successor to Destruction Derby. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again next time.